I refer to her as Angel because that's what she is. My daughter does suffer from a mental illness. My daughter also is borderline intellectually disabled. She only has an IQ of a 72. She is a 10 year old, but her thinking process is not of a 10 year old. She's functioning like a five or six year old. Um, there were certain situations that happened on the bus um, that I won't go into detail about. These certain situations, my daughter did not know how to cope. I would like to address that there was an aide on the bus that was CPI trained. My daughter's, upon my daughter getting off the bus, her special educational teacher was there. My daughter one-on-one -on -one aide in the classroom was there. Hope Verano was there. Multiple faculty and staff was there that are CPI trained and half of them are part of my daughter IEP team. My daughter has a behavior intervention plan in place as well as a crisis plan. None of those plans was implemented that day on May the 12th. Um, I would like to address my daughter had on a skirt and sandals that day when the officers had her on the ground handcuffing her. Under no circumstances is this acceptable that a disabled and mentally ill child is placed in handcuffs because they're having a meltdown. The district is aware of all of her diagnosis and they failed at helping my daughter on May the 12th.